Android 8.1 as of now is running only on the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL devices. Other devices are maybe rolling out it very soon to your devices. But today Nokia rolled out the 8.1 official update in the form of the beta. So selected devices are only eligible for that, not all the devices. So as of now, you can install it on the Nokia 8, 6 and the 5. And uh, I have used the 8.0 beta also, so that is pretty much very stable. You don't have to bother much about that thing. But uh, just you know, make sure you, you have all the data backed up. In case something goes wrong, you can easily get everything back. So guys, number one thing, how to install it. So you have to check the video description. There is a link for the Nokia phone beta labs. Just click it there, open on your favorite browser. So make sure you accept those terms and services. Once you click on the request OTA, you should be getting the update very much soon. So this is how you can install it. Now in case you want to uninstall and roll back to the official, you have to come to the same page. If you just go further down, you can see there is a section of the rollback or leaving the beta lab. So many things were there. Now uh, this guy's 8.1 update, uh, you know, did not brought so many new features. It is just some performance improvement and some minor tweaks in the emojis changes, some uh, power management, battery saving stuff. So anyway guys, this is about the new update. So we are going to see all the new features that came in this 8.1 update and this uh, changes should be applicable for all the 6, 5 and 8 and selected devices. Also we are going to do a little bit of a speed test and the benchmarking comparison. Let's see just in case we have got some major improvement in terms of you know fingerprint sensor, any faster camera launching or not because some few things are really very annoying It's Nokia 8, 6 and 5 especially the fingerprint sensor and slow camera. So we are going to see all the things and things. So anyway guys let's start and see Android 8 minute update for the Nokia 8, 6 and the 5. Okay guys, so I have done my installation. So that's your device in front of you. Android 8.1.0 beta install. So, so far I can say that uh, I feel like my device is more snappier than the earlier I had it. So even the stock Android, you know, they just never lagged on. But after the installation of the 8.1, I feel like it is uh, more smooth. Uh, you know, I just don't feel any kind of lag. So once you install, definitely you will notice that thing. Whatever device you carry, 865, they are just going to work slightly better way that you immediately notice once you install the update. Let's just uh, do a quick test of the fingerprint sensor because I feel that it is now faster because this is the most annoying thing I can say about this Nokia 8. So it's not exactly 0 0.2 second but yeah I believe so it is 0 0.5 second just compared with the OnePlus 5T 5 here. So pretty quick and fast here. Now let's take a look at the official change log and see what other changes do we have got. So first thing you will see here is the battery saving navigation bar. So Android 8.1 does bring this API here. I'm just showing you guys demo on the Pixel 2 XL. So you can see the navigation keys lies they just dimmed by itself just up about, after one or two seconds maybe I don't know what is the exact uh, time on that. So it just works on everywhere every places here any application you open whether it is there black or white it just dims itself just to save a little bit of battery. The same thing is also applicable here on the Nokia 8 here but somehow I'm not able to show you guys the exact thing but anyway they should be like that here once you configure the lights properly. After a few seconds, it will just dim by itself. I'm not able to show you properly here, but that's a change for the Android 8.1 uh, navigation light dimming feature. So hopefully it should work in very soon as well as beta. Now this is one of the important thing you can see there is a revamped power menu. So that's how it should look like here. So everything is just on the right side compacted. And before that, it was just like the old one that we have seen from traditional so many long years. Now this has been completely redesigned with the Android 8.1. Very, very good stuff from the Google. So looks easy and comfortable to do that. Next, we have a new settings menu. So this is the 8.0 settings. So that's how you can see that. And uh, I don't see any change when I upgraded the 8.1.0. It looks to me exactly same. Some internal changes are there inside this uh, 8.1. So the first thing you can see there is now there is a new uh, Android uh, Easter egg. So this is now completely Oreo. Before that, it was completely different thing now it is complete 8.1.0 and you got this new octopus dancing here and there that's again still there on your phone now uh, quick settings is also slightly i think so organized it is just reorganized itself not exactly the same but it's again completely stock and right this is again very good feature for you in case you're using any bluetooth wireless devices so just going to this is the old one you're not able to see any battery percentage but now with the 8.1.0 you can exactly see your battery percentage bar has just now my device is completely charged in percentage so I can see my complete Wi-Fi stuffs here so how much battery do we have on my Sennheiser next here uh, as as according with the company they have got a new January 1 security patch well but I don't think so it is just improved 
so before to update it was again january 1 now again we have i have got the january 1 so nothing too much change here so in case you first time getting this april 1 it should be updated there is a quick emoji fix as mentioned by the company's uh, you know senior heads so hamburger emojis problem was fixed the cheese is now on the proper position it was just above the patty earlier it was just above your i guess uh, some vegetables here so it was above to that now it is on the proper slots nice thing to do that so guys this is just a quick real world time test so i'm not showing you guys speed test here so this test just tell you guys in case you have got any improvement or not so like i mentioned i did notice that device is working great as it should be so it is faster compared to the o uh, 8.0.0 even though if you just install any update device should be working faster so i'm just making it a completely 4x speed because we are not doing any speed test here i just want to show you how much time difference do you get and uh, every device may get different reason this is my device just before the update and just after the update so there should be definitely definitely some kind of time difference so that's what we are going to figure that out how much seconds or minutes we are going to save after just doing this regular test so based on your applications you may get a different memory management but so far memory management is very poor and we are about to the complete on the 8.1.0 so that's your camera slightly faster compared to the old one we will see that in the later so i just taking pictures quickly so let's see how much time we are going to take so it's going to take 3 minute 28 seconds so on the late older 8.0 is still doing its job quickly completing so camera is camera was very very slow earlier so i guess 20 percent to 30 percent it has been increased so 3 minute 54 seconds yeah we did save a couple of good amounts of seconds that's nice and here is a quick camera it's, it's launching faster taking photos faster so quickly taking along with the pixel which is again a good not too fast but it's fine so speed is near about to the same it's taking picture quicker i will make it do a, a you know a new camera test see whether we got any improvement or not so because so far i'm not able to see any big major quality improvement it's just okay like it was here earlier a quick benchmarking comparison here starting off with the 82 so that's your old new score 184k compared to the old one that was 180k so good score snapdragon 835 just behaves in that way speaking of the geek benchmark test here that's your geek benchmark score so that's now i ran it after starting the update so it is 6.6k very respectable good score 6.7 6.8 was the average of 835 with 4 gigabytes of ram comparing with the old one just 6573 so fine scores are great too and you guys that's your quick update for the nokia 8 6 and 5 and why do you update and features list in case i have missed something please let me know in the comment so stay tuned to the channel for further updates for your nokia devices hope you guys did enjoy this video this is Saurabh. thank you for watching i'll talk to you very soon have a great day